A key to the whole program was really setting up a financial model from the beginning. So that's not just about how many leads we need to put at the top of the funnel and how well they need to convert, which is how companies usually do it. What we looked at was backing out of our revenue number, what do we know about conversion, how many opportunities do we need to create, and then backing all the way up to how many accounts do we have to go after in a period of time and how quickly do we think we can convert them. There's not a single person in the whole company that cares how many leads the marketing team created last week or last month or last quarter. We don't operate our business off of form fills. We run it off of data with engagement at its core. Our picture of success changed dramatically. We were going from scheduling 50, 60, 70 demos a week to scheduling 20 to 30 to 35 to 40 on a really good week with more heads than we did before. So what we did is we lowered quotas from 16 qualified and completed meetings a month to 10. One of the more challenging things of this whole process was changing the mentality of the sales reps, right? You go from getting 10 demos a week to four, you immediately think that that's a bad thing. And for us, you know, we were confident in the process of that we were going to be getting such a higher quality prospect into the sales team that they would actually produce more from those four demos a week versus those 10. It truly is successful if you operate as one team. There should be no reason that marketing and sales don't share the same number. When you do that, great things happen, collaboration is there.